Is Led Zeppelin from Bendigo? No, it ain't from Bendigo. Dire Straits from Bendigo? No, no, that's another English. Mm -hmm. Who could this be? It's a treat, it's a treat and a half. I might have to read off the sheet. And these are not bifocals, they are quad focals. Right? That's how bad it's gotten for both. So let me read so I don't mess up his name. Right? You forgive me? Thank you, thank you. Because if you didn't, I might tear up. <laughs> Bendigo Southeast College. Stage band, right? The stage band. Seven to ten. That doesn't mean they're seven years old to ten years old, ladies and gentlemen. That would mean their grades, right? This uh, this college is working towards a huge jazz competition. It's the generation in jazz. So there's 4,000 students, right? 4,000, that's a lot. Do I have that number right? Yes, it is. There's a zero on the end, 4,000. This is run by the amazing Aussie trumpet player, James Morrison, give him a hand. There's going to be two students playing in the Victorian State School Spectacular. Tom Hadlow on guitar. And you clap for him. And Amy Bachman on sax and flute. Yeah. And I'm not going to read that last part because it already says what I feel. We are extremely privileged and proud to be able to have them spend some time with us. They learned one of our songs. And I, I mean this, this is the honest to goodness truth, folks. This was not planned. They actually already knew and were performing a Blood, Sweat, and Tears song. And so they called up and said, hey, would y'all mind if we joined you guys? And we said, join us for a sound check? No, forget it. You're not gonna come out to a sound check and hang out in the seats and watch us do this. You're gonna get to work, right? So we're going to bring them out. We're going to do uh, one of our favorite songs. This is called Lucretia McKee. The Bingo Southeast College Stage Band. Excellent. Let me grab it. I was, I was so stoked. We came here, and listen, I'm not trying to big time yet, but we were in Perth this morning, right? We left, we got up at like butt 30. <laughs> and we flew, and we got all the way here, and then we noticed, this is how bad our minds are messed up. We started in Jakarta about 10 days ago. We did a few nights, right? And then we came all the way here. We've been on tour for a week. We had a few days off. And then we play Melbourne, we play in Adelaide, right? And then we go over to Perth, and then we get over here, and it's like, you know, three in the afternoon we get here, and these, these folks have been working real hard. And I am so wasted on my time that I was FaceTiming my wife a minute ago uh, upstairs, and I keep hitting it going, what in the world's going on, what in the world's going on? Why isn't she answering? It was three o'clock in the morning in Atlanta. <laughs> So Bo's gonna have messages when he gets off stage. <laughs> but uh, we did, um, we came right in. We didn't have much time to put practice together or rehearse, we had limited uh, space and time to do that. So I, I say that not because we don't need an excuse. These folks, these aren't kids, these folks right here, they worked so hard on this song. They knew it so well that when we got here, it would just it just fell right into place. So ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Bendy Girls. Thank you. 
are the next generation of our music. And I was one of them, we were all one of them. Give it up for them. Amazing. Mr. Lewis McGuff. All right, we will see you in a few minutes. Don't you dare go anywhere because we will be right back in two and two.